Hi guys, so today um, Nail Addict is launching some new colors for the Starlight Collection. So this is a package they recently sent to me um, free of charge for my review and all opinions are my own. I did open this part up, but let's look at the colors together. Um, and I will have the uh, links in the description box there and of course a discount code that they are so generous to give us. But I'll have all that info in the description box and you can check it out and have your code to use. So thank you so much uh, Nail Addict. So if you're not familiar with them, they're based in LA. They have um, cruelty free products and you can read all about that on their site. Uh, vegan, all those um, great things. So let's look at some of these colors. I have a little towel here to wipe it down because it does get a little dusty from the uh, recyclable uh, packaging material. but. Oh, look at this, Sugar Magnolia. Let's just take a quick look at them. Well, the Sugar Magnolia. And this one is Less Is More. I love pink, so that's really great. And I saw, oh, look at this. I saw a little peek of it right now. Magnets. We will open these up and take a look at each one. And I apologize for my hands. If you're familiar with my channel, I do a lot of crafts and I have some ink on my fingers here. Perfect Tan. Oh, that's like a holographic shimmer. Um, naked and Famous. I don't know. I don't know about that. That's <laughs> the next one. Nice nude color, though. Very pretty. Um, Pinot Noir. One of my favorite drinks there. And the last one here is uh, Sun is Back. And it is very uh, glittery. So let me close up just a little bit so we can take a better look. So like I said, they're um, the top of their... Bottles, if you've seen any other videos I've done, uh, reviews of theirs, um, are very true to what's in the bottle here. So this is, again, Sugar Magnolia. Very light, beautiful, kind of pinky peach color. I'm going to compare this one to that nude color just so you have an idea, but look how pretty. Oh, you guys know I read this is almost like a coral, very soft coral. Now let me open this one, then I'll try to compare them both. Uh, Naked and Famous. <laughs> Okay, this one much has uh, has much has has a much more yellow undertone. I don't know if you can see that. Where let's get this guy. This one is definitely coral. Look at that, totally different. Okay, I was just curious because a lot of times nude colors might be similar. So we have those two. Gorgeous. I would consider this a nude color, but that's just me. Okay, this is less is more, and it looks like it has a shimmer in it. Uh, yeah, it's a shimmer. Not so much a glitter, but it's a very fine shimmer. Hopefully we can focus. You know, I know it's very hard to see. It's very, very fine. Um, it has like a pearlescent, not really a gold look to it, more of a pearlescent kind of white shimmer to it. That's really sweet. Okay, let's check this out. Magnets. Magnets looks chunky, so let's take a look at this. Magnets is chunky, has really cool chunky glitter and a finer glitter. Looks like, yeah, it's like a fine glitter, um, like a regular glitter and then a chunky glitter, <laughs> all in like a silver tone. It has a little bit of gold kind of reflection to it, or at least it does here, maybe it's my lighting. Uh, Perfect Tan. This one's interesting because it does have a color to it and it's um, just a hollow color. I don't know if you can see that. Kind of like a nude color, but in a hollow, holographic. Look at that. That's really, really cool. We might be trying that one today. Let's see, we have Pinot Noir. Again, glittery, it looks like the glitter has a gold fleck to it. Again, a very fine shimmer. It might be hard to see. Oh, there you go. Well, there's, at least you can see the shimmer, but yeah, it's very fine. Kind of like the pink, but it was harder for me to show you on the pink one. This one, the shimmer is a little bit gold flecked. And then we have Sun is Back. And this is just a very fine gold glitter. It has a lot going on though. Look at that. It looks like molten gold with that glimmer. Pretty cool. All right, guys. So what I'm going to do is grab the supplies I normally do for 
a basic gel mani, which would be um, a nail file to shape my nails, a um, buffing block just to take the natural shine off the nail, um, a cuticle pusher or orange wood stick, whatever you prefer to use, some alcohol, acetone to take the nail polish off that I'm already wearing. Just because I like acetone, it does dehydrate the nail, which is what you want anyway. You can just use alcohol for that. Um, some lint-free wipes. Sorry. So, of course, of course, your base coat and your top coat of Nail Addict. I do not mix... Um, base and top coats of other brands with other gels. It's just, it's a no-no, but if you want to do it, I suppose you do whatever you like. You're just not supposed to do that. Um, that way you know your product is going to work the way it's intended. And then um, a, a UV or LED lamp, of course, the one I have um, is from, uh, it's a Sun 5 lamp that I have here. And... Yeah, that's about it. Let me get those things going. I'll be right back. All right, guys. I have all my supplies here again. I have my Sun 5 um, lamp. Uh, this is from uh, Nail Addict. I, it's, I have it set at 30. I mean, you can press 60. You can do 15. You can do this low heat mode. You know, I just do the 30 seconds. Because if you have an LED lamp, this cures 30 second cures. Um, base coat, top coat, the color coats, all that. If you're using an L, um, I'm sorry, a UV lamp, like an old school UV lamp with the little, you know, UV uh, lights. Um... You're going to want to do two minutes per coat, okay? Um, all right, so let's just get started. So I have some nail polish remover. This actually comes from the Dollar Tree, so <laughs> everybody has acetone nowadays. <laughs> it used to be harder to find. Um, but, and I'm talking about 100% acetone. I'm not talking about nail polish remover, which, of course, you can find anywhere. But this one's a little stronger. <laughs> so, um, again, it always leaves that dehydrated look on my skin. Um, so we're going to take off whatever polish you have on. Definitely push back your cuticles. And I usually do all my ten hand, ten pans, ten fingers at the same time. You know, I prep them all, but for now, just for the video, I do one hand and then I'll do the other. But, um, go ahead and remove whatever dead skin cells might be on your nail plate. And there will be some, so just know that and you always just want to get rid of it just like if you're putting on acrylics or anything else you don't want any of that hanging around because it will cause lifting or even your gel polish to not adhere very well so do that and then we take a buffing block not a fine buffing block but just enough so you can take the shine off your nail and shape your nails of course with whichever file you like i like these files it looks like an acrylic nail file it is on one side but on the other it's a 180 grit so this is just a well-loved one that I have here, and I'll shape my nails. And for these videos, I wash my hands, but I normally don't wash my hands. I just wipe away the excess um, dust, and then we get started. But I will wash my hands before I come back. All right, I'll be back. Okay, so since I wash my hands, just so that they look nicer on this video, I'm going to try and get a little alcohol on there just to dehydrate them again. Okay, and I'll wipe it down with a clean swab. But if you if you wash your hands to get rid of that extra dust, then definitely dehydrate them again, just like with some alcohol or use your acetone again, or however you like. So I'm gonna take the base coat. I am gonna use the two colors because I just can't not use these. Sugar, Magnolia, and Perfect Tan. Do a little mix and match nail kind of thing. I did grab some White Addict because I think what I'm gonna do is um, a little bit of a marble look on one of the nails. So we, I just want the white there to break it up. So I'm getting my base coat. Again, wipe off all the excess gel that's on the brush. You don't want too, too much. And I always apply, starting kind of in the center of my nail, but I push, t wiggle towards the cuticle and then come up towards the front. Nice big brush so it doesn't take much work to get that covered. Um, always cap the tip of your nail. So again, I'm not even re-dipping it. You don't need a lot of product. In fact, you don't want a lot of products. You don't want it to get all over your skin and everything else. So... And the reason I wiggle towards the cuticle is instead of starting at the cuticle and having a whole bunch, it's better just to kind of get in there and bring it back so you don't end up with a whole bunch of product in your cuticle area, which is always fun to clean up. I will dip it a little bit because it is a little bit dry now. And this lamp says that it will hold both hands, do both hands at the same time. I've never done that because I always do one at a time. But if you were working on a friend or, you know, whoever, um, you can definitely prep both hands and do the color coats on both hands and get them in there. But again, I like to 
do one at a time when I'm doing this on myself. And again, back towards that cuticle, cap the tip of the nail, and clean up any gel that might have gotten on your skin, just so it doesn't cure on your skin. Um, that was a pretty neat application, so I don't have too much. And now, I'm going to place it in my lamp for 30 seconds, and I'll be right back. Again, keep your thumb flat. There are LEDs all around this, but you always want to try to keep your thumb as flat as you can instead of keeping it like this, because then this bottom edge is facing nothing, right? So try to keep it flat like this so it's really, uh, the lights are hitting it at all angles. Okay. So that's 30 seconds. So what I'm going to do with these guys is... Pretty much all the nails are going to be this color. But again, wipe off as much of the product as you can to make it comfortable. Build up your layers so you have nice, safe cures. I have seen videos where people just slap on a whole bunch, and I suppose if you're doing that to a f um, like acrylic nails, it's not the biggest deal because it's acrylic nails. But when you're using your natural nails, you really want to make sure you're going to get a really nice cure. So I always build up my layers. So I'm starting again towards the center, pushing up, and it does feel a little bit dry. I'll pick up some more product. Just not too thick, that's all. And, you know, build up two or three layers, whatever you need, as opposed to one thick one. There's that one. And then this guy is also going to be, this color is just so pretty. I always <laughs> think, oh, this is my new favorite. This is my new favorite. This is gorgeous. Okay. And as you can see, sometimes it looks like streaks, but if you leave your nails alone, like if you see this one, maybe it's gone already. But as you let the, the, gel, the gel kind of rebalances while it's on your nail, and it'll just kind of flatten out. Um, unless you're going too, too dry, then it might leave the streaks. And then we're going to go in with perfect tan. And I'm going to put that on my ring finger. Now you can definitely put this on top of a color, but I'm going to try to build up the color just with this. Look at that. So pretty. Okay, again, a thin coat. And you're always going to clean up whatever gel might have gotten on your nails. You always cap the tip, even with the colored coats. And that's just helping the gel stay on really nicely at the edge of your nails. It's really important, especially if you do like an almond shaped nail or something like that, because for whatever reason, those pointy nails, it always wants to come away from the tip. So just make sure you really get in the tip of your nail. Clean up anything that might be on your skin, which again, I did a pretty good job. Wherever the gel is, that's where it's going to be. So like right here, I didn't really like the way it looks, even though it's on my nail. So I'm going to clean it up. You can also clean it up with a little brush with a little acetone, um, but I just or not acetone, actually, probably alcohol. All right, in the lamp, 30 seconds. Okay, let's go for our second coat. And then we're gonna do a marbling on this nail. I think that'll look good, so. Again, just like the first coat, build it up. Not too much product. And I've mentioned this before, just so that you know, if you put your hand in the lamp and you feel heat, like, and it's called a heat spike because it'll only be for like a second or two. Um, that means you put your gel polish too thick. Um, and that just happens, you know, <laughs> but uh, you'll learn. Um, so I'm going to do the second coat again with the um, sugar magnolia and then again with our uh, perfect tan and then clean up the nails back in the lamp for 30 seconds. Okay, so that worked really well. Um, hopefully you can see. Hold on, let me get a little closer. Um... I think that's it. Two coats and it's all good. But we're going to play with this nail. So we can do a couple things. We can do the top coat on the nails that we're done with um, and then just do our fun nail work on this one so they're all together or just do the nail work, only put that nail in the lamp and then we'll come back with the top coat for all of them together. So I think that's what I'll do. But um, so I'm going to take is the perfect tan. Again, we don't want to go too thick, but I do want to put some on here. I'm gonna put it like in the center and you see I'm not doing anything special, okay? I'm just putting it on there. Then I'm gonna take a little bit of super, I always wanna say super sugar magnolia. Again, just putting, ooh, that's too much. <laughs> a little bit on there. And this is, obviously you can't see it, but it's just so that we can move the color around. Okay, and then I'm gonna take a little bit of the white and actually maybe I'll put the white. Try to get in between the glittery color and the peachy color you just put down. If you're afraid that you might contaminate your color, just wipe it off before you put it back in the bottle. 
like here. I don't see anything on there, but if there was, I would just wipe it off on my surface. And now you can have some fun. So I'm just going to use the other end of my cuticle pusher. If you want to use like a dotting tool or whatever it is that you want, go ahead. And I'm just going to kind of swirl this around. Again, not too thick. If there are some areas that are too thick, then just take it away. This is literally just so we can swirl it around, have some fun there. Just gonna open this up, get that gold coming out in a little bit. This is just a marbled look. If you wanna do more of a geode look, you would definitely pull it a little bit differently than what I'm doing. But there it is, swirl some of that gold in there. And I think I'm pretty happy with that. Make sure you don't have anything in your nail there. There was a little bit of, um, what's that stuff called? Lint. Okay. Okay, and I'm going to kind of rebalance the nail. So I'm just <laughs> putting my nail upside down. I know it's weird. And shaking and waving my hand because it'll help kind of rebalance the the gel so it's more spread out the way you want. Okay, I'm only gonna put this one nail into the lamp for 30 seconds. I just wanna show you how I put my finger in here just so I know that the nails wouldn't get messed up. I just picked up the lamp and kind of placed my finger in there. And now we can take our top coat. I didn't feel a heat spike, so that means I put the gel on just right. If you wanna add a little something cute like some um, gold foil or something like that, that'd be really fun too. But anyway, so I'm gonna, again, remove all the excess apply our top coat. The top coat is uh, has a very thin formulation, so just be careful because it can kind of get away from you. Cap the tip, again, on all the nails, and place it in your lamp for 30 seconds. Again, if you have an old school kind of, um, not an LED lamp, but a UV lamp, then you want to do two minutes, okay? Or if you have a lower wattage um, LED lamp, you also want to go a little bit longer. But I'm going to do that, clean up around the nails, and place it on the lamp, and I'll be back. Okay, so that's it. So now if you were to touch your nails, um, they do have a top coat that is no wipe, but if you um, were to touch your nail, it feels sticky. There's a little dispersion layer on there. So I usually just spray with alcohol, but you can put alcohol in a little pad or however. And then just wipe that away. And I'm going to wash my hands in just a second here, just so I can get some cuticle oil and show you what our manicure looks like. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, well, that is all done. And so I just like to take some cuticle oil and you always just rehydrate your cuticles under the nail. And that's that, just some fun, quick nail art, gorgeous colors. The new collection is really, really lovely for April. Thank you so much, uh, Nail Attic, for sending these items for my review. And I would repeat the process with the other hand. Like I said, normally I would prep both hands so they're ready to go, do the gel polish on one hand, do the gel polish on the other, and then you know finish up and apply my cuticle oil. But uh, there it is. Really, really pretty and simple. So hopefully you guys like uh, today's design and I will see you guys at the next one again. Uh, the discount code will be in the description box for you guys and I'll see you guys at the next one. Bye now.